Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So I've just arrived at London Waterloo and I'm now trying to find Sarah in what is probably one of the busiest stations in London. So wish me luck. Uh, but we're on a double two show day today. Very, very excited. Um, I will tell you more when I'm with Sarah uh, because it's very, very busy in the middle of the station. But uh, I am just on the hunt for her. Um, the weather is nice, it's pretty good. It was very stuffy on my train though. And I've just found Sarah. We have just arrived in Kingston and we were just getting the train out of Waterloo. And I said to Sarah, carries on her journey into Kingston. No, she can't, She's, she is actually in front of us, which is really awkward. We're not actually following her, we're not creeps. We're just walking in the same direction, which is really awkward, I know, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, I was like, imagine she could get a train. I saw on her Instagram story, she's doing a journey. And then she walks up the platform. I was like, hi. And then we were like, hi. Well, I didn't, I always freeze. I panic a little bit, because I get a bit nervous. Oh, very collective, um, but she said she liked Sarah was on it. And she did talk to us and say, which she hopes we enjoy the show. So we probably will wait at stage door just to see if we can see her afterwards and grab a photo, because that was a missed opportunity. An awkward opportunity and I'm glad we didn't. I think I'm glad we didn't. It's a special thing that now we share and it's just like a nice little memory. A bit more Better. Be but yeah, but we're now in Kingston. Um, Sarah's just going for a wee in Starbucks, so I will grab you in a second. Well, I just look like an egg. <laughs> you don't. I didn't really tell you before, but we are coming to Kingston to see Carrie, which was cool that we met her before, in the Caucasian Chalk Circle. Ooh. I always call it the Caucasian Chalk Girl because oh, I, I think it. of Carrie in Caucasian it and she's a girl. Chalk something like you just make up anything that can possibly not be the name is what we call it. So we look like wet dogs because we got caught in the rain, which is why I haven't vlogged for a little bit as in speaking. But we just went to GBK. We tried to wait outside Wagon Moments, but that was just effort long and it I'm was wet. raining and we could get straight into GBK. So we went for it. We were just outside the Rose Theatre. We're about to go in. We actually just collected our tickets and then I realised I didn't film any content. So we came back out. Um, but they don't have any programmes, which is very sad because we were hoping to wait afterwards and maybe get a sign programme. But we found some flies, so we're going to get these. And then we also have our tickets, don't we? So we're going to try and do that. You excited? Yes, I'm buzzed. I don't really I don't, know what to expect. I don't really know what to expect My either. friend was in the show at like college and said it's a bit boring, but oh, yeah. I reckon their version of it was, is not a college Well, version. it sounds like it's musical-esque, apparently. Yeah. Apparently it's a play that has music in, but Carrie said that she actually sings loads. Okay. So like, it's probably more musical oh, than yeah. that. <laughs> but I reckon it's not as like strict bracket, Brecht as what it would have been at college. Yeah. That's the thing I think is the difference. You would have been learning about Brecht, wouldn't you? Then oh, yeah, no, 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 we did it at college. We did the whole Brett Pete. Oh, we did. I don't remember what it was Yeah, about, we did. Right? I remember that. Were they all like uh, football pay ones? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah, it was <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish, but yeah, we're about to go in. I'm really excited. We'll give you a little review afterwards, tell you what we think. Yeah, I've got to train my back together. Oh, yes. wait, we've got Heather's office. We've got Heather's. No, actually, oh. I don't think I did. So, we're actually doing two show day. I think I mentioned we're doing two show day. Oh, we booked After like last this, week as well. We, yeah, we did. We're very spontaneous. And to be fair, at Rose Theatre, if you're planning to go see the Caucasian Chalk Girl, if you're under the age of 25, you can get eight pound tickets, which is insane. And they have pretty good seats for it as well. So, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we're also going to see Heather's afterwards, which I'm very excited because this because... will be. My seventh, your seventh my your sixth. sixth trip, but our third, third trip together. Yeah, we've seen yeah. twice together already. Once, once, at on tour, once on tour, once on tour, once here. Once here. So we're very excited. We've never been to other places together. We have to see. To go to the toilet. No. <laughs> we did. We did. Do you remember that yeah, when I was, snuck into the girls' toilet? It was that one with Dan Buckley and Scott Page. Oh, you genius! But do you remember Eugene. that time that I yeah, snuck into the girls', the girls toilet. toilet? I'll put it in here. So we got a selfie in the and and Heather's was on here. at the time. So they had Heather's mirror. Yeah, I think we went in for a slushy or something. We did. Yeah. Yeah, and we're probably hoping to meet Carrie because we're sad and we just love her. Works out every time though. It does. But look at today just happened you know but yeah so we're gonna go in now uh, and we'll see you afterwards <laughs> Just left Caucasian Chalk Circle, which was insane, like so different for Carrie, like completely know, different. Are. Like the music was incredible and her voice is honestly just stunning. Like it just flawless. It's the only way to describe it, it. it. But it makes you appreciate it more because mm. it wasn't in it as much. You know what I mean? Like it was insane. It was like, like soft. 
like, emotional and bouncy. Yes. Like, like, oh my, it sounds so pure, stupid, but pure. like a feather. Yes. <laughs> no, it sounds like, so cringe. It was so good. It's nothing like, like done the before. show is a bit wacky in the sense of like, it's all wild all over the if place you don't know and what stuff like is, that. You will be a bit Oh, we actually need to go this way. Oh. Um, but yes, um, it was so, so good. And she was insane. And then we waited outside afterwards. Should we just it's go for it? Oh. Jesus Christ, Callum. Should we go? Yeah, agree. Huh? Ah. Uh, we waited afterwards and Carrie came out of stage door and we got a photo. We spoke to her and I, we got signatures and it was insane. It was like the best thing ever. And Sarah was asking her Disney questions. We were talking about Disney and it was just Quite a bit of so, so, so good. Yes, we're now just going to catch oh, the train. we met some nice girls. We did. We met some of the Carrie fans, which is always really exciting and like fun because Normally we're quite like awkward. We're not awkward, but do you know what I mean? Platform free. We're not awkward, but like in the sense of like, it's we just, just like, keep to ourselves, but like it's different. Of, what's out of my comfort zone? Yeah, to talk to people you don't know. <laughs> but like they, they approached us about taking photos of them and then we just kept talking and talking and it was their first time ever meeting Carrie, was which was so cool because we got to be a part of their first time experience. It was really cool. Sarah took their photos. So it was like really nice and they took ours. So if you ever see this, people we met, Sure, you probably won't, but it was oh. insane. Also, Sarah's shoes are hurting, which we already knew because she's wearing like a heel like they wear in a six. Oh. That's how I would describe it. But yeah, so we're now about to go catch the train and on our way to Heather's, which is very exciting. We were saying that we're glad we put it this way around because yeah. Chalk Circle's quite like deep and, I'm tired. and it's like quite like, uh, you have to like use your brain a lot to keep up with what's going on in the story. Amazing. Whereas Heather's is wild and so much fun. That's, that's so I'm very excited for that. Mm -hmm. but yeah. And we're all really cold because we're soaking wet still. Yeah, not good. But yeah, we're about to catch the train. So we'll let you know when we are at Westerberg. We have just got to um, Victoria kind of uh, carn carnival place, carn carn cardinal place. Uh, we're just popping into Costa. We did want to go to Veggie Prep, but it's currently closed, so we're going to quickly pop into Costa. But me and Sarah were both saying how sorry. One of our biggest theatre regrets is not seeing Hannah Lauder as Heather Chandler, and we've, we probably have had opportunities to. That's the thing. Yeah, we could have easily gone like let's just go. Go, but we just haven't done it. So that's one of our biggest regrets. So we keep looking today to see if she's on, but obviously she left like four months ago, so there's no chance. But I'm very excited. Very excited to see it again. I feel like. Old school friends, isn't it? I didn't know that. You did know that. I made a group chat to tell you. Nah, playing JD. You go back. No, no, no. I remember he did. Waitress. Waitress. I didn't know he was in Heather's. He's JD. I made a group chat with you and Mel. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I used to do like amateur acting, and my friend like. That is. Kind of so that's I like mean, one we, of my dream roles. We were thirteen, and I don't think he knows who I am. Oh, he stole my dream roles. <laughs> That's sick. I'm to tell you. That's why did we get us like cops rating? Oh, you don't know friends anymore. I'm not friends anymore. Oh, did you? No. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get to Costa oh, now. Bye. So we are on our way to the other palace. I'm walking backwards because I just got a warm pizza from Costa, but it's too warm to eat. So I'm trying to catch the wind. And Sarah told me the wind I'm is backwards. Because you're hot. Like, I said it was a bad decision as soon as I saw you. God. You should have brought trainers as well, not like a little slip thing. Yeah, that is true. When you're drunk, you've got a high pain tolerance. Yeah, so we're nearly there. We're going to... Oh, she's taking her shoes off. Um, and yeah, so I'm just catching the wind and then we're going to eat the pizza on the side. I'm going to eat the pizza. Sarah's got a pizza. Um, it's getting dark. <laughs> um, and then we'll be going to Heather's. We're going to get a freeze your brain slushy. I feel like I've mentioned it about three times, but I'm very, very excited because We've only had one once before. Oh, I I've only had yeah, one once before. I only before. had one at the other house. I never had one at the other house. Do they do that anymore? I don't know if they did actually, they but I hope they are doing them still. That'd be sick. If they're not, I'm going to be really sad. I mean, I hope so. Because it's up I think I saw someone's vlog saying that they had one and they felt like they couldn't drink it in there because it slurps. But I'm like, everyone's slurping. This frees your brain, you know? Yeah. Vibes. Anyway, I'm going to stop um, and eat my pizza. But I'm very excited. <laughs>
so we just got out of Heather's. Ooh. Oh my god, it was literally insane. Like every oh, time I see it, it were they've changed quite a few things, but for the better. Absolutely insane. Yeah, costumes are a lot different in some of the bits. But uh, the Veronica was insane. I think her name's Erin, I wanna say. I'll put yeah, her name on the Erin. screen. She's but she was incredible. She, she was like was so like, fucking yeah. good. Like she was insane. Like it was so good. And the McNamara gotta give a big shout out to her because she was like the best mac i've ever seen in my entire life like she was so fucking good like she was just insane i just liked she brought like very different characteristics to the role like very like it just felt everything felt real like that's the thing like the whole of heather's though this time like it felt a lot more realistic like it felt like you were watching something actually play out in front of you what ben always calls it like Musical theatre. <laughs> you know when you think of a typical musical theatre studio? Yeah, over the top. Yeah. And that is what Heather's really is. But they dialed it down and it was sick. It felt like music. So good. We both loved it. Want to go to a sing-along and we really loved it. You can get on the tube now. Ah.